Hello boys and girls, this is Lena and I am back. I hope you're enjoying bananas so far because I think I love it. I am here today for you guys with a very interesting video. Actually, I was really waiting to do this for you because I'm going to talk about infected rain. And because this is the first video dedicated to infected rain, I am gonna start from the beginning. So if you are a big fan of infected rain and you already know many facts that I'm going to tell you today in this video, I'm sure there are still going to be some interesting um, information for you that you didn't find online yet. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Basically in 2007, to be more specific, by the end of 2007, um, a few friends got together and started doing music, starting hanging out and play for fun and be creative. And those friends were Vidic, our former guitar player, and DJ Kappa. They were really close friends in the, back in the days and uh, DJ Kappa was a very passionate DJ and he used to even write his own music. Basically, they started doing a very interesting um, music together. They started doing some covers and just for fun. And I was invited by them also just for fun to just sing and just try some cover songs. And we were hanging out, being friends, being creative. And that's when we felt something. We felt this really weird connection, especially me. I felt that for the very first time in my life because I was never a musician before Infected Rain. And before this get together, whatever we were doing. So for me, it was a completely new, completely unexpected, really, really interesting feeling I had every time. So, DJ Kappa was actually the one telling me that I should try to see a teacher because there is something in my voice that told him or suggested him that I could do more or I could be more. And I was very nervous about it and but very flattered at the same time. That's what I did. I did right away. I found a teacher and I just, I contacted that teacher, I remember, and I said, uh, well, I never did music before and I would like to start. And she was not very positive about that. She was actually pretty negative. <laughs> um, it's not her fault. Her, the reason why she was not very excited about that was my age because, you know, I was already way after 20 and uh, she thought that at that age is too late to start music. And she is probably right. I just did my best to learn as much as I could at the, that time and I am still learning. But um, yeah, she invited me for an audition. She invited me to come to her class. Basically, she was um, teaching a uh, individual vocal lessons, right? So I went and she told me right away, way before we even started, she told me that if she's gonna feel there's, there's nothing to work with and if she's going to feel like it's too late for me to start, she's going to tell me right from the beginning and I have to accept it right away. I was super nervous because she told me that way before the first class. I can't even tell you how nervous and shaky I was just because I really wanted to be given a chance, you know? Anyways, um, I told to myself, just relax and have fun. Try to just, you know, be yourself. So we did this uh, first uh, vocal lesson. She taught me a few things. She told me how to breathe properly while singing. By the end of that lesson, she told me, mm, when can you come next time? So that was the first positive feedback from her I ever had. I'm so thankful to that teacher. She taught me so much. She actually started working with me and believe it or not, 
I used to go have my vocal lessons once or twice a week um, for three years in a row. Uh, sometimes even three times a week if I had enough time because, you know, back in the days I had an everyday job and the band, we started already kind of going um, into more um, serious step for the band, if uh, you want to call it that way. And yeah, for three years in a row, I just, um, I, it was fun for me. It was fun for me to go and sing all these like cool songs, uh, classics most of the times, some songs in Italian. She was so excited that I was speaking Italian so she could, um, you know, do that with me. Uh, she taught me a lot, I'm very thankful. She was a classic um, vocal teacher, so she couldn't really tell me a lot about um, alternative type of vocals um, that I had to learn myself in the beginning um, by myself but thanks to internet and YouTube I you know I tried many tricks and many things and of course I didn't learn right away but I I tried a lot and I fell I would um, just have very bad voice after a few rehearsals i would um you know even ruin my voice but that's when i knew that i was doing something wrong you know later on i discovered melissa cross and her dvds with her zen of screaming and i ordered them right away and i started you know studying her technique her type of vocalizing and many things made more sense to me, way more sense, until uh, 2013 when I finally had the opportunity to have an actual lesson with her. So I, was, I visited her in New York City and I had my first lesson with Melissa Cross and since that day I am very loyal to her and I try my best to learn from her as much as I can and to visit her as much as I can. We became very close and that makes me super happy because she's not only a vocal teacher, she's also um, such an amazing person and she inspires me so much, she believes in me so much. Thank you Melissa Cross if you're watching this. Um, anyways, I... Um, told you a little bit about my vocals and a little bit about how I started singing but I want to go back a little bit in time to tell you a little bit about my boys, my musicians. So as I told you already, you know that the uh, two people that created Infected Rain are Vadim Vidik, which is the guitar player with the cool dreadlocks, and DJ Kappa. We had him in the band for the first few years. Unfortunately, later on, he moved on with his life and changed uh, the country um, and changed um, many things in his life. So he had to leave the band. But in the beginning, he was he was one of the first. And then me and then guitar, another guitar player, bass player, and drummer. These other three. Um, were a little bit tricky in the beginning. It was not easy to find musicians. Moldova is a very small country and it's we do have a lot of very talented musicians, but not many of them had time or will to start something new. They were either already part of a project or part of the band, or some of them had already families and they couldn't go to, you know, basic where we were. So in the beginning we had uh, different musicians for a few shows, uh, just temporary, until finally Vova, um, which you also know like Vladimir, joined the band and that was very cool because he really liked the band right away, although when he came uh, for the first rehearsal um, it was only to try, only for fun for him. He told us that story later on. But he liked it right away. He liked it. He felt really comfortable around us and we felt really comfortable around him. And he was this super cool guy 
um, that just you know right away uh, felt mm, like part of what we were you know what I mean and after just a little bit uh, we uh, found I found out I didn't know right away uh, I found out that he has a brother that is a guitar player and we decided to you know to see if he was interested in uh, be playing for a band and it turned out that he was an amazing guitar player and he used to play in a um, few other bands before but just for a little bit because he is the youngest uh, in the band and yes when he came to our first rehearsal he was so prepared and he knew all the songs and he would play them so clean so well and I also thought that it's so cool that him and our bass player are brothers. So Sergei was the next one joining the band. And at that point, it was five of us. Our um, drummer at that time was uh, Vadim. He also had to leave the band, unfortunately, a little bit later on after we recorded our first EP, after we recorded our first album, after we filmed our first music video and a second music video. He had to leave the band because he was moving to a different country with his family. It was hard for us because we felt so good with him. We had to just stop with the band and find somebody. At that point, we were good friends with this super amazing guy. He was a sound engineer and he recorded our first album, Asylum, in the re uh, recording studio where he was working. His name is Valentin and some of you guys already know him because we are friends till these days and he produced all our albums so far. And we invited his brother, that was a drummer, to try to join the band. He, we invited him to be part of this crazy family. Um, Eugene is the brother of uh, Valentin. And as you can tell, Moldova is a very small country and many people are just either siblings or relatives <laughs> or they just really know each other really well because they played in bands together. Uh, Eugene was a tough one. He was a tough one. He was not on the same page with us right away. He tried one time and he said, I don't know guys, I feel like time is passing so fast. I don't know if this is what I wanna do with my life. He was such an amazing drummer even back in the days. I wanted him in the band so much. He was a very cool guy and, and we were so good together and I felt like that could be a connection, that could be something between us, you know, like all of us kind of felt comfortable around each other. I was like, no, 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 I don't know, maybe, I'll think about it. <laughs> but finally, finally, he said yes and finally, I guess, time had to pass a little bit, even for him, maybe something changed in his life as well. I don't know why and how come, but he accepted. And starting from the second album, starting from the music video, Me Against You, Eugene joined us as a drummer. And I'm so, so thankful because we are all together in this, the same people, same component. And it's awesome because it's been so many years now. We have so much in common and we've been through so much. And right now, I, it's like just, it's like a family. We argued a lot. We used to fight a lot. We used to have um, a lot of happy moments together as well. And we used to be creative together. And this is who we are now after 10 years. Basically, you can tell that Infected Rain is 10 years old now, and I'm very proud of who we are. I'm very, very proud of where we are as well, and I am proud of every and each one musician from my band. Every tour together, every show together, every music video, every album, we are here for you, and every musician is there for me, and I'm there for every and each one of them. And I wanna tell you, this is all thanks to you. Just because you guys are always at our shows and supporting nonstop and sharing and commenting and 
you know, you try to help as much as you can and every each one of you is so, so priceless for us. So thank you because really right now we are recording a new album and we are going to share it with you very soon. I'm so excited and I hope you liked this little story. I wanted to present to you every musician from Infected Rain. I wanted you to know how everything started because I'm going to share so much more about Infected Rain um, on this channel and I hope you are curious to know more and please tell me what else you want to know and tell me what you like about Infected Rain um, and please share with me some of your ideas and I will gladly read all that and you know take notes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this is Bananas I hope you enjoy it. Stay metal! <laughs>